When two bodies in contact have a tendency to move over each other, a resistance to the motion is set up. This resistance to the movement is known as friction. The relative motion can be between solid surface, fluid layers or material element. Frictional force is directly proportional to the normal force. So you might have noticed that more force is needed to pull the trolley than to drag it as the normal force increases while pushing it. There are several types of friction but let us first talk about dry friction in which friction acts between solid surfaces. Dry friction can act on both static and dynamic bodies. Static friction is equal to the force that it opposes until the body starts moving. Therefore, static friction is variable and depends on the applied force. The static friction of a surface is always higher than that of kinetic friction. That is because when an object is at rest, the grooves of the bodies set into each other and at microscopic level, the electrostatic and van der Waals force become more significant and therefore more force is needed to break the grooves to start the motion. Whereas kinetic friction acts between moving bodies whose grooves slide over each other. Well, this was about solid friction. In case of fluids, friction acts between the layers of a viscous fluid that are moving relative to each other. This is known as internal fluid friction. Lubricated friction is a case of fluid friction where a lubricant fluid separates two solid surfaces. This is a case of external fluid friction. The next type of friction is the internal friction which is the force that resists motion between the elements making up a solid material while it undergoes deformation. Kinetic energy is converted into thermal energy whenever motion with friction occurs. For example, when you rub hands, the kinetic energy of your hand is converted into thermal energy, which can be easily felt. But in the first place, why do all the surfaces have friction? There can be many reasons for that, but on the molecular level, it is due to the structure of the molecule if covalently bonded, for example long chain hydrocarbon, and in case of crystalline ionic solid, it is due to the cube lattice arrangement. What if we could make an extremely smooth surface? Wow, it's so... Oh, 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 oh my god, oh Christ! Uh, yeah, oh, true ooh, level, uh. bitch. In a world where there is no friction, life would be completely different. We won't be able to perform regular activities like walking, writing, lighting a matchstick, or playing sport. Also, we won't be able to drive cars as friction is a necessary condition for pure rolling. In simple terms, moving without skidding. Even though it is impossible to construct a world without friction, assume that we have managed to replace everything such that it could work without friction. We'll always face problem with walking and driving and many other activities as there is no friction. Once the motion is started, can't be stopped. Although we can use thrusters, it would cost us twice as equivalent amount of fuel will be needed to retard that motion. Of course there will be many problems, but on the brighter side, will have less heat loss in mechanical equipments like motors, engines and others. This will eliminate the use of coolant. Since there is no friction, there is no use of lubricant as well. Another advantage is that it will make the process of cleaning easier as the dirt can be easily removed. These are just the assumption of an extreme smooth surface. But in reality, humans need friction to execute any activities. For example, while walking, the friction between the feet and the ground make the motion possible. But in a world with smoothness, it would be impossible for humans to survive. So is it useful to make an extreme smooth surface? In the year 2008, scientists created the most smooth surface on the earth by coating a nanometer thick layer of lead. Minerals made solely of silicon reflected only about 1% of helium atom, while the lead coated mirror reflected 67% of it. Although there are many advantages of a smooth surface, but the production and the maintenance would cost more than the machine itself. Also, the energy required in the production would be more than the friction loss, therefore making it useless. But wait, there's another kind of friction which acts on perfectly flat and perfectly smooth bodies, known as quantum friction. Quantum friction is a theory that predicts that two uncharged polarized bodies moving relative to each other experience a force of quantum origin that tends to work against the relative motion. The quantum friction theory is not consensual and been recently debated. 
Also, there are several other kinds of friction like radiation friction, breaking friction, belt friction and many more. Friction has its significance in almost everything. Thus, it is impossible to imagine a world without friction.